Welcome to this week's episode of the Solana Changelog, where I'm joined by Jacob and Joe, and we discuss the changes in the Solana Dev ecosystem over the past week, which rolls into we actually hit a major milestone, which is 100 billion transactions on the Solana network. Um, so, yep, and I'm hoping there'll be 100 billion more to come. And over to proposals. Jacob, what do we have for this week? Yes. Uh, so there's actually a change coming up soon uh, that is extending your program data account. So right now, whenever you create uh, or deploy a program, your data account is very much set to the amount of data on chain uh, that you originally set. So like, say your program is two kilobytes, um, you can't change it. So if you add things to your, your program that above, that is above two kilobytes, you can't redeploy the program to the same address. So if you remember recently, there was realloc added to just regular accounts. This is extending realloc to also be used with program accounts so that like, Hey, you make some massive change. You go from a hello world to some options contract or something you can actually extend it and you pay as you go versus pay up front a large cost in case you increase there. So yeah, that's a really cool uh, proposal and change coming up soon on Solana. What uh, what commits have you, have you seen, Joe, that were interesting this past week? Yeah, so we've got two SPL related commits that I thought were kind of cool. So the first one is the account compression for the JS library has actually been added. So that was put in. You can check out that pull request that was merged. And then also the um, token 2022 support was added to the SBL token CLI. So you can now do like interactions with that program from the terminal. So pretty cool stuff right there. So um, how about some resource highlights? Would you, would you guys maybe see? So one thing that caught my eye was the Seahorse examples from the super team DAO. And um, just again, Seahorse is a framework on Solana that allows you to write programs, aka smart contracts with Python. So now they have like a bunch of examples of like some example programs for any Python devs out there to get started. Really cool. Uh, and then I also saw that there was something from the Nil Foundation that allows you to verify state in kind of like a light client for Solana, which is really cool. So state, usually whenever you want to try to verify it, you have to know everything in the past <laughs> up until that specific point in time. Uh, so that's really hard to do with Solana because like Solana generates some insane amount of state every minute. So what this does with Nil Foundation, they've generated a way to do it with zero knowledge proofs in order to uh, verify state uh, at a specific time period in less than five minutes, which is really cool. Wow. Well, I think that is actually it. So a lot of exciting new changes again, another week, another change log, and we will actually catch you guys next week for even more changes. Thanks for coming.